This video is for anyone who's ever been told you have a big head. Haha, <laughs> I know. If you want to learn how to do this, let's get into it right now. Now this effect is something that I've seen so often by one of my very favorite beauty gurus that I love to watch, and that is gonna be Kathleen Lights, and I'm gonna show you an example right up here of her doing this effect in her videos as well. I think it's so cute when she does it. So the first thing we have to do, I have to show you, we're gonna get into Final Cut Pro. This is going to be basically an effect in under distortion, so let's go ahead and show you what that looks like. So obviously we just saw the clip with Kathleen Lights, and now we're gonna to go to a small clip that I have already uh, sectioned off during my timeline right here. This is where I'm going to try and apply this look. So the first thing we're gonna do is come over here and under the right hand side, we are going to be looking for effects. You'll find it under distortion, but just like you saw, you can also start typing in fish and this effect is called fish eye. So don't be scared. We're gonna drag it onto our clip. It looks really awesome right now. I can't believe I'm showing people this. You want to make sure that the center is kind of like highlighted on what you're going to do. I'm going to do it right here in the center of my face. This looks so good right now, you guys. So good. All right, next thing I'm going to do, I am going to go down to, I'm going to add a shape mask to this. So right over here, if you hover on this, you're going to see a little option. And we're going to do a shape mask, just like we did when we did the skin smoothing effect. If you never saw that video, I will link it up in the cards. You can take a peek here. So we're going to go ahead and just kind of hover. I'm going to reduce this down to 50% here. We're just going to try and make a circle um, and we want it to be kind of round. And what I don't want to do is I don't want to apply the effect too much on the actual frame itself because I don't want like what looks like all of the cabinets and things on the shelves to really come in towards the center. I really just want the big head effect. So we're going to try and do this here on the head. Make sure that we've got kind of the top and bottom showing here on this effect. We're going to make it a little wider. This is going to add a mask here of this shape, and then we'll go in and be able to start messing around with stuff. So I'm going to reduce this. There we go. That's already a lot. Let's bring it up just a little. I'm going to put it in a two. Let's go ahead and just play with this here, this slider. So we're just going to bring this up, and it kind of looks like that. Let's see here. So as you can see, it's not being applied to the background. It's really just being applied to that shape mask there. And if you take that off, then you can see it starts to mess with the background as well. And that's not exactly what I want to mess with too much right now. I just really want to mess with my head. That sounds funny. All right, so let's go ahead and take a peek. That might actually be fine there if we look at. Haha, <laughs> I know. If you want to learn. <laughs> it's such a funny effect. And so here's Kathleen's example. So you can see the background isn't messing around too much. It's really just her face and head. So let's go and see if we did that same. So again, yeah, the background isn't changing too much. It's, here, I'll take the volume off. The background isn't changing too much. It's just my head. It's also harder because I move my head. But Yeah, they do punch in actually. So they actually see how they go from uh, slightly farther away to slightly zoomed in. You see those. So we could try and do that. So if we're going to punch in on that background just a little bit here from where it is over here. So you could do something like that and you could also come in and do just a little bit of a punch in on the background as well. So then you could also just kind of boom. You want to learn how to and it's done. So kind of an extra little thing that you do. You punch in just a little bit, a little bit closer and keep it just a little bit more visually interesting. So as you can see, you can spend a lot of time just finessing the special you know, tweaks here and there for the effect of fisheye under the distortion menu. And it's really going to be very, very similar to what we did for the plugin for skin smoothing. And if you never caught that video for that, I'm gonna link that up here in the card so that you can actually go and watch that. It's very, very similar. Now, if you don't have Final Cut Pro and you're looking to up-level your video editing with iMovie, not only will I link a playlist up here, I, I also have my own e-course out right now on how to learn how to edit iMovie. And I wanna say a special thank you to all of my channel members, especially my platinum ones. You guys get on-screen mention in every single video. Thank you so much for being a part of the online fam. If you wanna join, make sure you check out the video below. When you hit that join button, it will tell you all of the details for that. Thanks for hanging out with me today, guys. I'll see you in a video very soon. Bye.